Makere University has been championing and facilitating research in a variety of disciplines with the aim of promoting development and improvement of livelihoods since inception. However, it is alleged that implementation of research evidence occurs rarely unless there are concerted attempts to direct such. If you and I go to Guru or Masenda or anything and we talk to any household, almost every month somebody is at their, desk, their, their doorsteps collecting data, asking them their name, number of chickens they have, hectares of land, uh, maize that they have grown, goats that are running around their, 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 their backyard. And you ask yourself, all this data that are being collected every day, how are we using them? The International Center for Evaluation and Development has been pushing for implementation of global research to boost policy formulation. The Evidence to Action Conference is a means to bring all the stakeholders in the evidence value chain together who are involved in evidence conceptualization, evidence implementation, evidence uh, extraction, and evidence utilization together to dialogue on the most effective and efficient way where people's life and livelihood can be changed by the evidence that are being generated by researchers and evaluators in this country. The Vice President, Major Jessica Alupo, is expected to be the chief guest. We have different themes and discussions that are happening. And even more exciting that this is happening in the midst of celebrating 100 years of Marquette University. And coming out of COVID, we've learned many things. And one of them is that we need research to make decisions. And so evidence uh, to action presents this opportunity for us to question Marquette University that 100 years of evidence coming out of the university, what has it done in the field? What has it done for our nation? What has it done? for our countries and our communities. Makere University's Professor Damalina Kanjako justifies the importance of attending the conference, especially for academicians, civil society organizations, and politicians. This evidence to action conference is going to give us uh, a lot of knowledge and its translation into action, not only for Ebola, but all the infectious diseases and the epidemics that have come around. Ebola has been with us for over 10 years and a lot of research and evidence has been generated from Uganda. That is why today when we hear a case of Ebola, it is no longer a death sentence like it happened 20 years ago. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.